Hey everyone, Mac here, and I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you guys about what I think are the problems in Halo 4 multiplayer. Keep in mind, I'm a huge Halo fan, and I will be playing this game. I'm thoroughly addicted, but there are a few things that bother me, and in the background, you're watching a gameplay of an oddball game where I go 15-1. and one. Um, It starts off a little slow, but it picks up as we go. Anyways, number one, I'd like to see a KD ratio in the service record. I know you can do some quick math, but when you have something like 1,384 kills, 729 deaths, you can do a rough like approximation, but it would be really nice to get a KD ratio in the service record. And I know a lot of people play objective, so that's not really that important. I'd like to see it as it is an online stat, and it'd be nice to see. Number two, I don't think there are very, ma very many emblem options in the game. Um, you have about 44 icon choices and like 12 backgrounds or something. And I feel like a lot of backgrounds are missing from previous games. I feel like there's actually less options than in Halo 2 for emblems. I think they could have improved that. A big uh, problem of mine is the playlists. I don't know where all the good ones are. We're missing SWAT. We're missing Team Snipers. We're missing Double Team. I'm not a Double Team fan, but I know a lot of people are. Even though there are not that many uh, small maps, double teams would probably be appreciated by a lot of people. Big Team Infinity Slayer. I don't know why they got rid of all the Big Team objective game types. Like Big Team CTF was huge fun on uh, Valhalla and Halo 3. I'm sure it'd be on Ragnarok as well. So that'd be, that's kind of stupid. Uh, I like multi-team 2v2v2v2 or 3v3v3v3. Um, so all those game types I feel like are currently missing from the game. And I feel... Like, also one hopper for all the objectives, aka, so you don't have to only select CTF, only Oddball, or only King of the Hill. I think that's a little bit of a problem. Now we're moving into really quick um, problem I think there is with the theater. When you're looking at, uh, cl like, clips, you can't see your KD or any other stats from the game. So if I play a few games and I remember that I went, like, 20 and 1, and I want to go find that game, it's kind of hard. You kind of have to remember exactly when you got that thing. So it'd be nice if the... Uh, film clips in the theater had a little bit more detail. Now we're moving on to actual stuff in the gameplay. Number one, checking your score in the game, it will freeze your character. That is ridiculous. You need to be able to check your score while moving your character around, while aiming, while scoping. All that stuff was present in Halo 3, Halo Reach, Halo 2, all the Halos, and for some reason they got rid of it. Um, another thing they have a problem with, I have a problem with, is grenades are terrible in this game. They're rare to come by. They're completely useless. You have to literally land them on someone's feet. I know this is kind of objective as, you know, I like grenades and not everyone likes grenades. Maybe they're trying to get rid of that. But I think grenades should be a little bit better in the game. That's my personal opinion. And then my third point of actual in-game problems is the fact that uh, weapons disappear way too fast. I've literally died with the sniper, ran to my death spot within 10 seconds and the snipers disappeared. And I know for a fact none of my teammates have gotten it or anything like that. If you actually do keep uh, an eye on like weapon disappearing, um, if it's an ordnance drop, weapons will literally disappear in like 5 to 10 seconds. And that's a little stupid in my opinion. I don't know. If I earn the sniper, I want to be able to use it until uh, it's gone. So now I'm moving on to stuff that I have problems with on Halo Waypoint. Okay, so now we're on Halo Waypoint. You can see my stats here. This is my Spartan. Um, I have 90 games, 55 wins. We'll go to War Games Matchmaking. I'll show you a lot of the problems we have here. I have 55 victories according to this screen and 35 defeats according to this screen. If you do a rough calculation, 55 plus 35 is 90. So we'll do 55 divided by 90 times 100. This graph should show about 61%. It obviously shows about 51 or 52%. And this graph's wrong. But this graph is right. If you go to the next screen, you can see that I have 26 first places. 55 top 33, 68 top 50, and 52 defeats. So my defeats is actually my losses from the previous screen plus my incomplete games, which is 17, which is ridiculous because I never quit. I might have lagged out of one game. I never quit, so there's no way I have 17 incomplete games. The way it calculates incomplete games is if you back out after a game, uh, right when you get your post-game stats, It'll actually track you in the next game regardless of whether you quit before that game started or before voting started. So 52 defeats here is both of those combined. But for some reason, top 50%, I have 68, uh, but I only have 55 victories. So this is weird because it actually, it doesn't calculate if you play FFA like Regicide, it doesn't really calculate what's going on properly. So this is just a mess, what's going on on Halo Waypoint stats. And then all of this stuff's cool, that's great. Uh, but when you get down to medals, medals are terribly laid out. 
Like, I'm not trying to tell them to do the same thing as Bungie, but Bungie had a system and people loved it because it worked. This is terrible. I don't know what they thought, like why there's medals off screen here. There's medals that go over the text on this page because there's too many metal types. I have no idea what medals I have, what medals I don't, because they're basically in a random order, as you can tell here. I don't know why, like Killing Frenzy, then I have overkills, then I have running riots, double kills, and triple kills are last. Like, why not put double kills, triple kills, and overkills next to each other, and then obviously the killing sprees next to each other, like, in an organized way. That way I can know what I'm missing, what I have, what I have, how many of, like, how many double kills turn into triple kills would be nice to know. Like, maybe this is just me, because I'm, I'm kind of a stat freak, but this whole metal system makes no sense. I, I want to know what medals I have, what medals I'm missing, like, ugh, this is, this pisses me off, honestly, like, okay, I have 59 vehicle kills, and next to that, oh, I thought I'd have wheelmans, that would kind of make sense, but no, I have my binary sniper rifle kills next to my grenade kills, and then my beam rifle kills and my sniper kills are next to each other, but my generic kills are right in the middle, and my assassinations, like, why? I just want to be able to kind of, you know, for it to make sense. And then obviously all your stats have to be game variant. I kind of just want like something different. I don't know. Obviously extraction and griff ball are coming. So that's cool. I'm hoping for an MLG game variant. Either way, maybe I'm just being picky, but I want you guys to let me know if you agree with any of the points I made. I made six points during the video. Three of them were not about gameplay. Three of them were of gameplay. And then I made a complaint about Halo Waypoint. I want you guys to tell me if you agree. It's completely cool if you disagree with any of my points. Let me know. Leave a like on the video. Make sure to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. And uh, check the YouTube description. Uh, I might have some updates on there and stuff. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. I hope it made sense and stuff like that. And um, those are my complaints. I Hopefully they're addressed. But knowing my luck, they will not be. So thanks for watching, guys.